are not going to let this day get spoiled by a dead bulb. Not going to happen. Now I'm sure those of you who watched last week's video may have been wondering uh, why we were tightening up the packing gland in there. And that's because this unit here looks like a big, you know, big turbo shape. Uh, this is the water pump, and this is what circulates the fresh water for the engine. So the engine uses a closed loop fresh water circuit, and then it uses the open loop uh, seawater, which is this, and that goes through there, it goes to the strainer, and then it goes, it comes from the sea chest, which is through the hole there. And that goes through the heat exchangers, and you have a, uh, that is an oil to water heat exchanger, and that is a fresh water to seawater heat exchanger. And then the discharge uh, goes through here. And then that discharge is above the water line. This is the water line here. And then that just shoots water all over the, uh, uh, where the paint float is, uh, you know, where the whale boat is, uh, top side. So the packing gland here, they are designed to leak. They leak a little bit. And they do that so that the packing stays wet, uh, swelled up, uh, and basically watertight. Uh, however, there's only so much you can tighten these things up. Um, if you tighten them too much, they stop leaking, and then they start to burn up and smoke because of, you know, they're not being lubricated and cooled. Uh, so right here, this line here is tapped into the bottom of the casing there, and that just catches the drips that come out of the packing gland, and it goes into this bucket. And you can see here, uh, we're just running coolant through here. Uh, you know, it's your standard automotive uh, coolant. Some people call it antifreeze. And that is a corrosion inhibitor, and it does its job. It's heck of a lot better than keeping fresh water in here and risking it freezing uh, during the winter months. In case anyone was wondering how you check the oil level on one of these, well, you use the dipstick, though it's technically called a bayonet gauge. And there it is, it's on the full mark. And then you gotta thread it through, try to find. And usually I use a flashlight for one side, there we go. And so we are full.
the bulb is replaced, so you can see this a bit better. We are uh, almost to 200 PSI. And there we go. So we are halfway there to having enough air pressure to uh, turn it over, blow it out, and then get it started up. Thank you. 